Hello friends, welcome back to this session. In this session, we are going to understand how we can create a personal access token in the GitHub account and how we can use the personal access token to push the code and we will play around this token to access and delete from the Windows account also. So let's start, let's not waste much time. So this is a pretty much small topic, but it's very useful. So this is my uh, cloud uh, account, that GitHub account, where uh, this is my one of the sample repository. In the settings, you have to go to your profile and you have to go to the settings here. And from the settings, you will find the uh, the left side, the configuration here, you will set the different uh, menus here. And at the bottom, you will find the developer settings. Just go to developer settings and the developer settings, you will find the the three different keys how we can make the GitHub apps uh, or auth apps and the personal access token. So here we are going for the personal access token. Uh, we'll go for the classic way. They have added the new fine gray token also. In the classic way, you have to create here the generate new token. So once you click here generate new token, you will find the two options. That's a new beta option. They have added that is for the repo scope. That is for the repo specific and the the classic one is the generate new token that is a use for the general use. So let's go with the uh, classic one and I just create here and let's give the name some. So I give the name the demo here. <clears throat> so the you can configure the, the token, the parameter like the, the expiry of this token, how much you want to keep this is seven days to no expiry you can wait, keep and you can make the some of the specific days also. Let's go with the default one. Here the configuration for the repo, you can give the permission, like the workflow you want to give, uh, package one you want to give, read the package, uh, admin we don't want to give, the get user also not need, delete repo I want to give here. So based on your requirement, you can give the permission for this key and I'm just creating here the generate access token here. So this will generate the token. You can see this is the token which generated. You should keep this one somewhere secure, securely and you should save. So uh, you'll get the anytime once you require. So this one, you can see the message here. Make sure the copy person token now you want able to see again. So make sure you will save somewhere securely. Okay, now let's go to the my uh, git uh, here. So when I, I want to push something, so I'll just going to git push here. And this will prompt me the uh, GitHub account where we have to, uh, okay, I got this one, where we have to pass the credential. So I'll go with the token here. Basically, you can find the different options to log in, but here we'll get the token. I'm just going to clone the, co copy the token here. Let me pass the token here. And this will sign in and it will push to my code here. So this has been, the code has been pushed. So, this will basically uh, allow me to push the code, that's fine. But this will save my key in the, my Windows credential because it once I reuse, it will not ask the same token every time. So this is stored in the my Windows system. There is a two way to delete. You can delete from the uh, your GitHub account where you can revoke all or you can delete from here also. And the another way you can delete from the Windows credential also. Let me show you the Windows credential. So you have to go to the Windows credential configuration here and the credential manager here. In the Windows credential, you will find the uh, different credential store here. You can find the GitHub, with, which is the modified today. And you can take, remove, you can delete from here or you can edit from. So if I remove here, it will ask again once I want to repose. So this is basically important once I want to play with the multiple uh tokens so that will help once i have the multiple users okay fun thanks for watching this video and i hope this is helpful for your development members thank you if you have any question or any doubt feel free to ask in the comment section below i will answer you as soon as i can thank you for watching bye and have a nice day